Hello everybody, welcome back. On this episode, we're continuing our discussion, our topic of breakthrough. Last week, it was the breakthrough the enemy has been defeated. And this week, I've got something to talk about because of that. The question I want to ask you is, if the enemy has been defeated, why does the Bible tell us to fight? Why does it in Ephesians 6, 6 say to put on the armor so that you could stand against the schemes of the enemy, you know, against his attacks, you can stand firm against it. If the enemy, if the devil has already been defeated, why do we need to fight against him? And today we're going to talk a little bit about that. And um, I want to relate it to it actually an Old Testament story. It's in Joshua. And I won't read it, but you're welcome to in Joshua chapter 1. Moses dies and, jo and God gives Joshua the charge to take the people into the promised land and in Canaan. And God says something to him. He says, I'm giving you this land. And he says, everywhere your foot goes, it's yours. And he says, now be strong and courageous. Go take it. Go do it. Go take uh, the promised land. So what's interesting to me is that God promised the land to them. He already gave it to them. He said, everywhere your foot touches, it's yours. Now go take it. You know, God didn't just kill everybody in the land, kill all the giants, defeat all the other armies. He didn't do that. He said, I'm giving you the victory. It's already yours. Now go get it. And I see that same idea here with us as Christians, is that we're fighting an enemy, the devil. Jesus beat him on the cross like we saw in Colossians 2.15 last time. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and the principalities on the cross. And so the enemy has already been defeated. And so what we're doing now is that we're, we're fighting for that victory. And, uh, and so what, what I wanted to mention it is that we're not fighting for victory, we're fighting from victory. So that's the difference is Joshua went into the Canaan knowing that it was already his, knowing that they've already been defeated, and they just need to go get it. So they weren't they were fighting from it. God, I believe that God has already given me the victory. Now I need to go claim it. I need to go fight for it. And instead of not knowing what's going to happen. So I think that's the same idea with us Christians is that we already know the devil's been defeated. So we need to fight like he's already been defeated, like his like his weapons have been disarmed. And we need to fight against him, knowing that Jesus has already won. But there's still a fight. But there's still a fight. But we're still at war. We're still battling. And I know it's a little hard to understand, but that's the reality of it, is that we are in this battle. So the, Satan's already been defeated, but we need to fight from the victory. And what that means is that we, we can win. It's possible. Breakthrough is possible. And so what I want to bring that, the idea is that to you in your life, that you may think that uh, you may feel stuck. Like we talked about a story one time where this girl was actually held captive by a kidnapper and a raper, uh, abusing her for like 15 to 20 years of her life. And she felt stuck. And what I'm saying is that God has already given you victory. You can beat Him. And there's a tactics, there's ways to do that. Fighting in the victory. And actually there's a whole list in Ephesians 6. Put on your helmet of um, salvation, your breastplate of righteousness. Use the sword of the Spirit. You know, all of those things are used against the enemy. So my encouragement to you today is that it is... The enemy is here. He still has control. He's still in charge of a lot of areas in the world, maybe even in your families and your friends. You see the effects. But God has given you the power to overcome it. Greater is He that's in you, in us, than He that is in the world. So I want you to change your, your idea, your mindset, your view on the enemy, the devil, and that he may look like he's winning, but... He's already been defeated, so we need to fight from that victory. And we need to have faith in God that as we start to advance, as we start to 
pray, as we start to tell people about Jesus, as we start to tell our family, as we start to bring the gospel out, live it out, that God will move and God can conquer the enemy. Because breakthrough is possible. It is possible. We're hoping to see people come to Jesus, that they would not be held captive by Satan any longer. So we fight because we know we've already won. All right, we don't fight because we don't know. We fight because we know. We're fighting from victory, not for it. We're fighting from it. So it's a whole different battle tactic. So have the faith that God's with you and that he's going to do whatever he needs to get you there uh, to get the victory in, in these areas. So we're praying for that in our ministry, in our families, in our lives. And I encourage you to do uh, on the Bible app this week, we're doing a five-day devotional by Levi Lusco called... Um, oh, I forget the name now. Something about war. I declare war. So if you want to find it, join with us. We're going to be doing that all week. God bless you.